the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. All right, we live. Now, what I wanted to do was to, to go over this topic and it's a continuation topic about if we had talked many times before of how people that are called believers, traditional church and stuff, and then go after bombing people, killing people, condemning people. You know, it, opposite of what they call to do, they feel like they're supposed to do the opposite and 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 try to bring in the law and to the government and everything else to force their opinions. Like, you know, right going on in the political parties today, you know, over the abortion right, you know, you got one group is like, well, some of my churches, we 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 gonna ban abortion and we're gonna make those politicians ban that abortion. And 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 cause this is how we're gonna address that issue. And the fact is, dude, come on now. You know that the law didn't work for any of us. You know, the Ten Commandments didn't work. And then to try to put God's laws into our government as if that's going to change the behavior of people. Uh, it's, it's, it doesn't work that way. It, it, it never worked that way. If, if it, that's why you try to put it in their hearts, because the fact is that uh, you guys, you, you, the preaching of the gospel is the power of God, not the law. That's all I'm trying to say for some people. With I, I understand, I understand, I understand people's position on abortion, and and I understand their, their you know, the state for it. But the same thing they did for the poor vision for the drinking, because that's another one. Don't get drunk, right? That, that's, that's another one, right? So what we do, we back, we did it in, in the twenties, I think, whatever the prohibition period was. We we went to a dry nation. But watch the government, which which always happens. Mm -hmm. Watch money has fulfilled its position as being the root of all evil. Come on. Then the government monopolizes on it. And then we have a legal form of what they say was so corrupt and so evil. Exactly. And, and you know the thing about it, and then the, the bad thing about the war on drugs, you really, you lied because you actually took drugs and put them into communities that you consider. Yeah. Well, I didn't, I didn't like the fact that I did the civil rights movement. I didn't like the fact that I was voting. So we're going to put poor drugs into your community. <laughs> and then we're going to call it war on drugs. Uh, and, and, and the thing about it, we're going to attack your li leaders and accuse them of being part of the drugs that you planted in a community. Yeah. It's and all as a use of weapon. It's, it's all the stuff, the voice that is speaking truth to power. That's all there's to it. When, yeah. when they're being exposed, <laughs> mm -hmm. people are actually listening and opposing them, then that's an issue. Mm. So now we have to do something about it. Yeah, so same thing with the voting thing, right? You know, hey, we got to do something about it because uh, these people voted and and uh, we can't win a general election this way. So what we're going to do is instead of sitting there and trying to say, what can we do to incorporate these people to vote for us? What we're going to do is try to find any way we suppress the votes, any way we can Put more people in jail, because that's nothing. It's mass incarceration. Uh, when you think about it, it's, it's so many people for a, third, for a first world country. I guess we got third world countries, so we must be a first world country. I think we are, and we are a first world country, and yet we have an incarceration rate high or higher than a third world country. Uh, that means something's wrong with the laws and the enforcement of the laws. And on top of that, enforcing the laws only for the people that you don't want to vote. You know, uh, it's just crazy. So I call this uh, title today for 
people is that the we read it last week and now I want to use this title. It says blinded minds and woke. Because that, that's one of the things we've been what the the DeSantis down there going crazy. Uh saying woke. Huh? They're going to use a term that came from the culture, meaning, you know, urban culture. And then tell, tell everybody what we mean when yeah. we say it. Yeah. And, and, and it has nothing to do. All it is is knowing the truth. Mm -hmm. That's all that means, knowing the truth. And they're going to add all this. But they did the same thing. They just said they were Black Black Matters. Yeah. If you think about it, is that what we're going to do is demonize the, the, the term. We want to, because it is a valid term. But hey, all lives matter. Yeah, that's true. That, so when you say the same thing when I say that, like right? when you say all lives matter, you also telling me a Black Lives Matter. But you trying to turn it around to make it seem like, oh, you just making this, this Black people matter, lives matter. Uh, yes, black people lives matter, and all black, all other people lives matter. All blue lives matter. If you're a police officer, all lives matter, dude. So therefore, to say black lives matter, all they're doing is echoing what's supposed to be true for everybody anyway. Yes, white lives matter. Black, black lives matter. You, matter. Huh? It, it was more so saying that black lives matter just as much. That's all that means. They say Black Lives Matter, but not equal, and that's yeah. all we was we was trying to say. That's all we were trying to say. To, to, to sit there and shoot somebody forty five times while while somebody else gets shot two times or not even shot at all. Shot. It it is the saying is that that life that was lost matters. That's all that means. Nobody's trying to do it, but you demonize it. and then you. Apparently, I, I was reading it and saying is that the people who actually started it were says mysteriously died but the people who took over were people that was considered undesirable in in our community in our society well you know because i think uh our brother uh one of our brothers was got compassionate about the fact that because of the orientations of of these current leaders right <laughs> and forget about the whole purpose of the the movement right because who, whoever's leading it has anything has nothing to do with what's the intent behind it, right? It was about balance, but they focus it because you know we had discussions on our forum here. They were focused on if they want to destroy the the nucleus of the family. We talk about Black Lives Matter. Well, were you talking about? Well, I'm talking about the founders because it all it was doing is to dilute the purpose and the intent. You know what I mean? That's the whole thing all about it is to loot the purpose and the intent. The, the even Black it, Panther. Label it and put it in a box. Put it in a box. So now all we want to do they want. So we can discredit it. Right? That's the whole thing. Let me discredit it. So now the you forget about the whole intent of the <laughs> of the of the movement. Yeah. And focus on it. So that's why I got up here woke is the fact is that people is it's not CRT. It's about people understanding and waking it up and recognizing that they've been oppressed by systematic means throughout history. You know, it's funny to take somebody and say, pull up by the bootstraps. And every time we pull up by the bootstrap, if we find some bootstrap to pull up with, such as Black Wall Street and Rosewood and all these other communities that have been successful. And then time they become successful, you find people want to go ahead and destroy. You find people want to go ahead and, and, and burn, massacre people that's being successful. We, got, we have some societies, Black communities that were thriving. And anytime that shows up, somebody wants to get upset and destroy it. You know, so uh, people is not going to woke is it's all about black community, black people, minorities, even yourselves. 
the saying is, we are responsible, we control our government. And we elect people that are supposed to stand and represent us. Uh, and if you don't get those type of people to represent you, and I understand if you want to get somebody to represent you to, to, to eliminate abortion, that's not your call. But just make sure that us, those that representative is representing the whole district that they belong to or the whole state they belong to. They don't represent the party first, they represent you first. And, 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 and people get the, the clue of voting is because they don't recognize voting matters. Hey, look, that's a, that's, they, somebody should put that over there. Hey, voting matters. They've been saying it. Yeah, wake up, voting matters. And then what we want to talk about is the wake up about being blinded. Your mind is being blinded by the God of this world. And therefore, you don't understand God's word because you've been blinded. And, and the whole purpose of saints, believers, is to illuminate the room, <laughs> get people to understand the gospel because the God of this world has blinded the minds. And I, I usually, I was telling somebody the other day, and I don't know if I talked to you about it the other day, I was saying this, you, we talk about it, you're not referenced to this. I used to always hear blinded the eyes. It, it's, it's, I don't know where I heard it. I, I guess that's all that I just remember, blinded the eyes yeah. of those. But but the this one is even stronger, blinded the mind. Yeah. So you can't understand God's word. And if you remember, some of us before we got saved, when we looked at the word, we didn't understand it. It looked it it it, it looked confusing. Yeah, it, it was it, foreign. It, huh? It was foreign. It was foreign. It was and, like and, and you got to really understand what that that's saying because it's the perfect word foreign. Because if you go in a foreign land, you're mm -hmm. not going to understand their culture if you haven't been there before. Ooh. You're not even going to understand their language. Come on now. It's not a kingdom. Yeah. So yeah. If we, this world is foreigners mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. kingdom of God. Yeah. 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 Because the, 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 the system is different. It's almost like going, you play chess and, and or you play basketball and the, and the game is football. You're like... What what am I supposed to do? Whose position is that? All that stuff. That's that's what we're talking about is for people to understand we have to be wake up. You know, when we used that scripture last week about Isaiah 60, rise and shine. For the light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Is the fact is that we are supposed to rise. We're all supposed to be light. And we're supposed to illuminate in darkness so that people can see truth and point toward the way. So that's the, that's what I mean, woke. <laughs> I put that, because I'm pretty sure that some people look at this, what are you talking about, woke? Uh-oh, let's go talk about woke, right? You're going to find out that Jesus, Yeshua, has woken all those who want to wake up because he's calling us to wake up. He, you know what I'm talking about? He's knocking at the door. He's knocking at the door so you to wake up so you can recognize that there's a God in the world, his and he's he's the creator of the heaven and the earth, and he has come to redeem you. He has come to redeem me. That's the glory of the gospel, and he did it for the ungodly. He died, cry. He God sent his son to die for the ungodly. Now maybe that don't mean something to somebody who think they hold it gathered together, but it means something to me that I have redemption because I fit, fit, fit in that category of the godly. With that in mind, uh, we're gonna bring, this is the, the, the uh, foundational scripture. And then what we're gonna do is the blind man one. You know, the man is born blind? Yeah. We, we, we're gonna read that scripture. But let's start off with the, uh, the light of the gospel. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, Come on. but have reconciled the now. things of dishonesty. 
you have renounced. You said reconcile. Yes, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, mm -hmm. but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. In the sight of God, yes, sir. But if our gospel be hid, oh yes, it is hid to them that are lost. Come on now. In whom the God of this world yes. blinded the minds of them yes. which believe not. <laughs> yes. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Mm -hmm. For we preach not ourselves. No, that's a tip. That's a tip. But Yeshua, mm -hmm. our Lord. Come on now. Ourselves, your servants, for Yeshua's sake. Yes, sir. Come on, not now. for our sake. But Come on, Yeshua's sake. Exactly, not for money, not for power, not for position, but for His sake. Come on, glorify Him. Yes, sir. For God, who Come commanded on. the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts. In our hearts, the light of the knowledge, the light of the knowledge of, of the, the glory of God. Come on now, in the face of Yeshua. Christ, the anointed one. Come on now. The fact is, that's that's being wakened up to to truth. And 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 I, when I was telling you about when you said the, and I kept reading what that statement in verse two was, we have renounced the 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 hidden things of dishonesty. You know, we 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 said is it's time to stop lying. Yeah. And stop being truthful, being honest. If you're going to give an honest assessment, give an honest assessment. Don't give a, a lie. Don't put somebody down. You know, in other words, we want to awaken to the truth and understanding the knowledge because people can't see. What I'm trying to say to a lot of people, look, let me come up to one second. People can't see the truth for that. So they can't understand. They can't see the gospel unless we those of us, I'm talking to everybody else, listen, you are the light. You are the ones that bring, you know, when somebody's asleep, they're in the room, the light is off. And you ever, seen, you ever been in your room and, you, and you're sleeping and the light's off and then somebody come and cut the light on? You, which, what happens? You're like, oh, man, whoa. I'm starting to wake you up a little bit. Uh, unless you sleep like some of these folks that when they done they done <laughs> they gone yeah but they <laughs> great uh, but a lot of cases if you cut that light on they, they you do wake them up because yeah. it's just part of their rhythm uh just like sunlight wakes people up but but the point is that we're supposed to be light not darkness we're not supposed to go after the godly but we're supposed to be able to minister the godly shining that glorious gospel, the knowledge. I like the fact that the knowledge of the glory of God. We, we're, we're supposed to give any, anything you know. Nobody asks you to be a, a Bible quoter. We just want you to be able to give knowledge and understanding of God's word as you preach and teach and live. Because look, it don't matter how you, you can, you, can, you can preach the gospel all day long, but if you're not living it, it don't matter. And then you got bad people. Then that, what I hate about this brother is that you got people who go out of their way to discredit you. Yeah. The world system discredit you. And so we, that's why we're going to use the, and we'll, we'll close with that, but we're going to use this long black for scriptures, slides. We're going to go over the scripture of the man born blind and, and, and watch who was really blind. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that, that. I, you know, I, I'll just let it, I'll just let you. Yeah. I don't want to jump ahead. Yeah, because you see it as you go through this particular one uh, that they could they could not uh, they it was it, 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 the blind man was like, what are you talking about? Oh, I forgot it did put that arise and shine. We put that down there, but we'll go past that uh, due to time. Go ahead and uh, read that. Uh, scripture, chapter John, chapter nine is what he's reading. Okay. 
And it, like you said, as you read through, you can spit, you can jump in and change something, talk about something, not change anything. But oh, something. Go ahead. Exegete that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> Exegete that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. And as Yeshua passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. From birth. I was getting ready to change that title. It's called Born Blind. Yeah. You know, because I think all of us are, we're born as sinners, right? Yeah. Yeah. So technically, we're born blind. That's it. Mm hmm That's a good way of, of looking at it. Exactly. Right we're born spiritually blind. Man, and I don't know anybody in the, in the, he could sit there and say they weren't born spiritually blind. <laughs> you get that from man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a man see, born blind. <laughs> and his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, mm. this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And that's that world, ain't it? Isn't that what that world did? It had to be your fault. Yeah. You, you, you must have did something wrong. You did something wrong. But the crazy thing is, They did not understand that they were in the same boat. <laughs> this, like yeah. you said, they they were born blind. So yeah. they could have said to themselves, <laughs> who did sin? <laughs> and, and Adam yeah. said, your mama said, your daddy said, Bible said all have sin. All have sin. They come short of the glory of God. So you blind to that. They were blind to that. You see what I'm saying? Let's go ahead. Uh, Yeshua answered, Neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents, mm. but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Mm. I must work the works Come on of now. him that sent me. While it is day, Come on now. the night cometh, mm -hmm. when no man can work. No, they will they will sleep. Go ahead. <laughs> as long as I am in the world, come on now. I am the light of the world. Mm. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground mm -hmm. and made clay of the spittle. Yes, sir. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay, mm. and said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam. Mm -hmm. Which is by interpretation sent. Interesting, sent. Had to be some nasty water. Mm. To smell. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, you know, they, they didn't have that irritation, irrigation, yeah. all that other stuff anyway, right? He went his way, therefore, and washed and came. See. One of, one of the, one of the uh, comedians sit there and said, it had to be God, because who are you a sort of blind man to go wash? Go 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 ahead and go wash your face in the pool over that pool. That water over there. Now I don't know how far that water was away from that man. Hey, but he can find it because <laughs> can... it stinks. <laughs> I hope he tries to find something that stinks. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't as hard as you may think. <laughs> I hear you, brother. I hear you. <laughs> Could have been why he told him to go wash there. Woo! This is uh, the name they therefore, and they which before had seen him that he was blind said, "Is not this he that sat and begged?" Some said, "This is he." Others said, "He is like him." But he said, "I am he." I'm the man. I'm the man. Therefore said they unto him. How were thine eyes open? Mm. He answered and said, A man that is called Yeshua made clay and anointed my eyes. Anointed. Said unto me, Go to the pool of Siloam uh -huh. and wash. And I went and washed, and I received sight. Yeah. Yeah. Then said they unto him, Where is he? He, he said, says, I know not. I don't know. <laughs> they brought to the Pharisees him that over time was blind. Mm -hmm. Now it's just over time. 
the four I mean, times. Born that way, but now it's when you get the Pharisees in, you see how things change. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. I know. But you know, they they, they ask the question so oh, you 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 the same guy, right? You know, they question it too. Yeah. But eventually they said, Well, we need this a miracle, basically, right? Yeah. So they said, Let's take you to the priest, man. Because anyway, anyway, Jesus, you know, Yeshua didn't tell him to go to the priest. You know how he did the leprosy yeah. people? Yeah. He said, go show yourself to the priest, which I guess is what you're supposed to do. You have skin disease anyway. Yeah. Um, to be accepted. They got to examine yeah. you. Yeah, they examine you, right? So I guess maybe born blind was not one of those things, but the least showed you a, a testimony. Go, go yeah. tell people what I did, right? So it was interesting. And so what was, happened? And it was the Sabbath day when Yeshua made the claim. Mm-hmm and opened his eyes. Oh, now we're talking to religious people now, right? They they got problems because what you did, you did on the Sabbath day, man. Then again, the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. Mm -hmm. He said unto them, he put clay upon my eyes <laughs> and I washed and do see. <laughs> it was just so simple for him. <laughs> and look, look keep, keep it simple. Right? Yeah. I like that, yeah. Therefore said some of the Pharisees, this man is not of God. Wow. Ain't that something? Because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. Hey, look, this, this man is not of God because he didn't go to my denomination. He didn't go to my church. Uh, he didn't, he get baptized my way you should get baptized. Oh, he got sprinkled. Oh, he got, he got, he got baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Oh, he got baptized in the name of Jesus. You know, he so. He wasn't he, dunked. Come he on. Was poured on. Yeah, come on now. He come was grizzled on. He, he, was so, so he, he can't be a God. Yeah. We just going to bypass it. Do you see what I'm saying? The blindness of that to me is like, you forgot all about the mirror. Yeah. The mirror, but just like we were talking about well, the They couldn't tomorrow. deny it. That's the problem. Yeah. When you can't deny it, tr truth exposes your intention. Mm. Same thing with Black Lives Matter, wasn't it? Yeah. You can't deny the fact that Black Lives Matter. Yeah. So what we're we gonna do? We're gonna go behind that and, and, yeah, we gotta, and we, find. We gotta find another way of attack. Of attack, and that's what people do. Yeah. That's how. People this do. is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.